Okay, I'm gonna show how to how I'm gonna attempt to uh, change a cartridge out of this thing. Um, this is a Moen. Um, the uh, replacement uh, cartridge is this, and um, I just ran about 10 minutes of hot water through it to kind of hopefully maximize the expansion or soften the plastic between that and the, the brass housing. I did this before about uh, five years ago and it was a bitch. The stem came out and I had a hard time pulling it out. I didn't use a tap and die like other people on YouTube did but um, I bought the grade 8 bolt just in case it gets to that point. So, first thing to do is shut off the water and then take this handle off. There's an Allen wrench right underneath. You can see that. straight down. Let's screw it a little bit more. There you go. And, uh, the camera. And then this. And then there's this plastic housing under it. I put a piece of cardboard on the shower floor. Uh, just in case you drop some tools, you don't want this uh, I think it's acrylic or fiberglass shower to crack and you don't want anything to uh, go down the drain so it looks like there's these uh, two other plastic housing I already took this apart uh, before the video and I cleaned the, the caulking around this um, that was kind of a chore so I'm going to take this apart so it's a screw and uh, this plastic housing. This one was coming out. There you go. So I kind of remember where that goes. Like that. So let's stick this away here. I'm gonna take this apart. These are really long screws. So this is uh, just a screwdriver bit. Make sure it's in reverse. I wouldn't tighten it using this, but it's good to unscrew things with. So I cut the caulking, the old caulking with uh, a razor blade or an X-Acto knife. You have to be real careful not to cut um, into the, the fiberglass or scratch this uh, um, I don't know what you call this, a scooching plate. Okay. Next thing I do is pull this I don't know what they call this too. This is how they just pull straight out. See that? Okay. Like I said I ran this for uh, ten minutes. Hot water. It wasn't really hot. My problem is when these cartridges go bad. Um, it gets harder to turn the handle and this uh, the hot water doesn't work very well. There's not much hot water. So 
I'm going to put some shop towel in here to catch, hopefully catch some of the residual water. Next thing to do is to pull this clip out. You see that right there? Let's see. You can... So hot's on the left side, cold's on the right side. I'll pull this clip out. Okay, it's coming out. Okay. Okay, and I I bought this. I'm not sure if I'm doing everything right on video, but I'm gonna try. So I bought this tool. Uh, you can see that. Zoom out. From uh, I think Home Depot about five years ago, and the first one went bad. And it's to pull these cartridges, so I'm going to give this. You have to unscrew, back the screw out a lot, then use that teeth and put it around the housing until it fits snug, and then tighten this up. I believe that's how it's going to work. Uh, my, my GoPro is, uh, I don't have a head strap for it, so I'm try to do this. And screw that in there. And then let me just put this back on the tripod. Probably won't be as good of a video as everyone else's, but that's all I got. Kind of want to work fast before it gets too cold. Okay, so that's pretty tight right there. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, turn this collar until it touches that brass housing. Then I need uh, to get a bigger wrench and turn this and hopefully that's going to pull at least break the seal enough uh, to pull this plastic tab out to um, the edge of this uh, uh, brass housing okay. this is from Harbor Freight so let's see if this works I can't use, I need both hands Turn, hold this handle steady, and then turn the big nut. Well, it looks like it's working. It's pulling, it broke the seal. Let's see if I can show you guys. See, it's pulling, it used to sit right against that that thing right there and that plastic is coming out it's gonna be flush here pretty soon so I'm gonna keep doing that so I hold on to this and I turn this big nut with that big wrench from Harbor Freight and then it starts to pull out but once that plastic reaches this um, tool that's as far as you can go with this tool so I'm gonna to try to um, pull it out straight after it gets to to that point, hopefully the cartridge will let loose, but we'll see. Set for it. 
Pretty close. It's getting close. I should use the GoPro for this. But I don't have the headset for it. Pretty close. I feel resistance on it now. I'm gonna show you again. So you can see here that it's the tab is pulled out to that uh, tool housing. And I'm gonna try to wiggle this and pull it out. Uh, wish me luck, last time the stem broke. Working this out. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I went in the garage and I made this. It's basically a one inch PVC pipe uh, that I cut short. I think it's probably like, I don't know. Um, half inch tall. I cut these holes in here that kind of. I'm trying really I'm trying to make an extension of this so I can pull it through. So I'm going to try this and put this in here first. So let me, let me try to show you this. So this is as far out as a cartridge would go because it's bottomed out with the tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. This is a one inch pipe that I cut out and it's basically an extension of the tool. So as I turn that nut again it's going to um, you know again push against this piece I just made and against this brass housing and pull that cartridge a little bit further out. Probably not all the way because it's going to bottom out to the edge of my cut on that PVC. Again, this is a one inch tool, so let me see if it's going to work and I'll, I'll try to keep you uh, entertained. So I'm going to stick this in here first, stick this on top of it, same thing I was doing before, push it all the way in, then screw it by hand until you feel it get snug. I'm not even sure I'm using this tool right, but the way I'm using it is it's going to help me. Yeah, I just, that's snug. And I'm gonna tighten this nut. Okay, now I'm gonna take you out the camera and show you. So hopefully you can see what I did there. Okay, so again, I'm gonna hold on to this handle and then tighten this with that big wrench I got from Harbor Freight. And it looks good on the top and on the bottom. Looks like it's gonna clear too, okay? So, let's give this a whirl and see how it's gonna go. Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah. It's coming out. It's getting... It's getting okay, let me stop it and show you. Okay, see it's even further out now. 
So it's it's getting pulled a little bit further out. Hopefully by the time we get to the bottom end, I don't want to make another one of these PVC extensions, but it's fairly easy to do with a hacksaw on a piece of one inch tube. Uh, I'm lucky that the, the one inch, I mean the stem isn't broken off. Four years ago when I did it, it was broken off. I'll continue. Sorry, you can't see it, but it's basically the same setup. Just make sure everything's straight, that's all. Gonna go again. Hopefully you get a little bit more pull out of it. It's coming out. Four years ago, it was a nightmare. Just plain nightmare. It's bad design. What happens is when this cartridge is hard to turn, it puts more stress on the on that uh, black plastic adapter that I took off at the beginning of the video. And then it's starting to show like some hairline cracks. Okay, that's as far it's going to go out. Let me show you. Okay. So you see there? That plastic tab was against that uh, housing I made now. So uh, my extension is bottomed out. Um, I'm going to take this apart, take this uh, tool off of it, and then see if it'll wiggle out now. Um, if not, I can make you know, a longer extension of this and do it all over again. It was fairly easy to make. I just used a hacksaw and some pipe I had laying in our garage. I'd like to see if I can just pull it out now instead of doing another extension. I'd rather not. Screw it back on. Tighten it up. And then we'll just get away. Turning. Let me see how I show you. It's turning. I'm tend to make another extension it's just so I can use it in the future and just go in stages. But you know, this thing is turning. Well, yeah, it's gonna. I think it's gonna wiggle loose. Okay, I think I almost got it out. So I actually turned it. 360 to 180 degrees. And it's starting to come out easier. So it looks like these plastic things get hung up on it. It looks like that piece is broken off in there somewhere. Oh, oh, there it is. Pieces everywhere. So we'll have to inspect that and see if anything's in there because the rubber just came off in pieces. So let's go get a flashlight and check it out. So looking in there, looks pretty clean, I didn't see anything. It's pretty clean. So I'm going to go ahead and just replace this uh, valve and uh, be back in a minute.